Hey, it's Matt from Custom Car Grills with a mesh install for the 2019 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. With this mesh set, we're trying to prevent damage to the radiators while keeping good airflow. And this mod is intended to be installed with the bumper taken off of the vehicle. The mesh pieces that we have available for sale on our website is this three-piece set made up of two sides and one center section, shown here. These are made from a 16th inch thick aluminum with a quarter inch hexagon pattern punched into it, and the mesh is powder coated gloss black. We're trying to keep the installation simple, yet effective, and including some high quality cable ties to fasten the mesh on. I'm going to place the mesh on the back of the factory grill opening. With it lined up roughly in the correct position, I'll run a starting cable tie in the center and loosely fasten it. This will give me enough play to get the edge cutouts perfectly aligned with the bumper tabs. We designed and manufactured these to very tight tolerances, so be sure to check that there's no gaps around the bumper tab cutouts. I'm running most of my ties as close to the outer edge as possible. This will give me the best hold of the mesh to the grill. It's also important to note that the head of the ties are on the back of the bumper, and I'm making sure to have the tie head rest so that it would be facing down when the bumper is reinstalled. This will help conceal the ties really well. And once they're all in place, then I'll remove the starter tie and throw that away along with the tail ends of the other ties. Let's move on to the center section now. To get it started, I'll loosely hold the mesh in place with a starter tie in the center. After that, I want to anchor down the mesh around the front camera cutouts. These are precision cut to line up as close to the camera bezel as we can get them. Just like with the side pieces, I'm trying to keep the ties in the outer perimeter so that they'll be hidden well. An additional starter tie might be needed if the mesh starts moving around a little bit. From here, I'll just work my way around the whole grill, trying to keep the ties concealed and consistent, as well as symmetrical, to draw minimal attention to them when it's done. We've trimmed the mesh in the corners to make sure that we clear the wiring harness and clips on both the center and side sections. But make sure that the mesh is positioned during the install to clear them. We don't want the mesh to rub on those wires. Now that I've got it all fastened on, I'll trim off the tail ends of the ties and the installation is complete. The bumper is ready for reinstallation. Let's check out this from the front now. Oh wow, look at how well protected these radiators are going to be now. Unless some small debris threads the needle on this quarter inch hexagon mesh, it should deflect most road debris that's thrown at it. The ties are hard to see even with this high contrast white background. And here's some installed pictures where the mesh and ties blend in seamlessly with the vehicle. It looks like the car came from the factory this way. And this is a simple yet effective mod to give owners peace of mind against radiator damage. Well, that's all I have for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about this install, then feel free to contact me. And thanks for watching.